Well, people, this is French Shad Pearson, and welcome to French Shad Blue. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, November 20th of 2024. Yeah, 539 in the p.m. Happy Wednesday, again, the 20th of November. People, I did this video earlier titled Spirits in the Land, Biden Policies and Immigrant Gangs. It's a must-see video. I appreciate you guys actually watching all my videos. You know, I'm fighting this thing. Every time I get about 15 new subscribers, I lose five. I, I look, I watch a ticker tape every hour. And I know it's not you guys. So please continue to resubscribe. I know it's a pain, but it's the last days. It's the last days. Keep praying. But people, I want to add to this here because I found out some more information after I did my live video earlier. Also, I did a live video in relation to um, Lincoln Riley. You got to see this decode. You got to see my live. But I digress. What if I told you there are senators in the United States that say part of the immigration is Hamas? Again, suppose I told you that part of our immigration problem is that there are Hamas. This is a problem. And also, Haiti, Haiti, there are parts of Haiti where 80% of the gangs are running it. Immigrant gangs. Guess what? The people the other day start helping the police because they're tired. You're talking civil war. I can't even show you because of the, um, the restrictions we have, which I can appreciate. All you gotta do is just type it in. Haitians and civil war, it would come up. It's crazy. People are literally, I can't even, I don't even know the proper word to say it. Let's just say they're unalive. Can you imagine just regular people who just had enough in their town or their city and they said enough is enough, we're gonna help the police. And they did. And they unalived a lot of people. And let's just say it's a fire after they got done. Use your head, okay? Somebody got cooked. It's terrible, with, and I'm bringing this to you because I want you to understand what I brought in this video earlier, that there's spirits in the land. When you got evil spirits in the land, anything can pop off. So what do we have to do now while we're still free? Because yeah, we are surrounded, because it's reported that 16 states have these major gangs in our cities, including Chicago. We're surrounded. We got to get it done, people. We got to get it done. ASAP. I'm not going to argue about it. It happened in Haiti less than 30 hours ago. The people had enough. And it's when I say the place is just, it looks like a war zone. Fires everywhere. And bodies. Just, you know, imagine. Just imagine how it looks. Okay? It's bad. Your worst is movie. And I can't play it, but I can just, I'll play part of the video here. Just listen. Now in our continuing coverage of the crisis in Haiti, citizens in that besieged nation took matters into their own hands. They joined police in an overnight gun battle which left two dozen gang members dead. It happened in Pietonville near Port-au-Prince. CBS News' mommy, Sonia Francois, has more on what she learned. I zoomed with a spokesperson with the Haitian National Police who in Creole told me the people of Haiti are over it, the community. They took part in a revolt, helping police to kill over two dozen gang members Tuesday morning. Que la police Lionel Lazar is a spokesperson for the Haitian National Police. He told me in Creole the operation early Tuesday morning began with a roadblock near this area in Pichonville. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Because, again, I can't show certain things. But let's read about it. Here it is. Residents in Haiti's capital stand with police in a battle to repel gang attack. This came out today. 1.30 in the morning. Today, 
Today's Wednesday, report came out. Port-au-Prince, Haiti, gangs launched a new attack on Haitian's capital early Tuesday, targeting an upscale community in Port-au-Prince where gunmen clashed with residents who fought side by side with police. Could that anarchy happen here? You saw it, right, in Civil War movie that came out here in America and part of that in Leave the World Behind. Is this predicted programming? We gotta stay prayed up and we got and we gotta make our legislators do the right thing. They gotta go, people. The attack on Pitterville was led by the Viv and Sonam group, if I'm pronouncing it right, whose spokesman Jimmy Cesar, a gang leader and former elite police officer, had announced the plan in a video posted on social media. Yeah, they're using social media. At least 28 suspected gang members were unalived and hundreds of uh, munitions seized, according to the Lionel Lazar, deputy spokesman for Haiti's National Police. It wasn't immediately clear if police had prepared for the attack or tried to preventatively protect Pitterville given that area. Now, what I can tell you is this, the videos that I watched, the people are, were already ready because they knew that the people, that the gangs had uh, invaded other areas. So they were ready at two o'clock in the morning, believe it or not. The turmoil in Port-au-Prince deepened late Tuesday when Doctors Without Borders announced it was suspending critical care across the capital as it accused police officers of violence and threats against its staff including blank and blank. The aid group will halt patient admissions and transfers to its five medical facilities starting on Wednesday, a blow to a country with extremely limited medical care. Talk about civil war, it's crazy people. We have, we have been in Haiti for more than 30 years and this decision is taken with a heavy heart. It's crazy people. They took to the streets and they tore these gang members to shreds. Not figuratively, literally. It just got that bad. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It went third world on steroids. Now, this is a senator from Tennessee. Uh, listen to her and what she's got to say, what's going on in her neck of the woods. This just came out two hours ago, okay? All this stuff is relevant. I just wanted to add to it what I'm talking about. Crimes that are taking place. We've got 55,000 known criminal illegal aliens. The Biden administration has let in the country and 2,200 gang members. And as we know, they don't stay on the border. They're now all across the country. And as you said, 16 states now have this violent gang that is active in their states. Yep. Uh, you and your Democrat colleague, a Democrat colleague, Jackie Rosen, you're working on legislation to ban migrants with ties to Hamas, ban them from entering yes. the United States. How do you prove they're tied to Hamas? The, one of the ways you do it is on social media. Interestingly enough, some of these UNRWA employees that are tied to Hamas they actually have been on social media, so proper vetting and looking at what these individuals have had to say, that is the way that you prohibit them from coming into the United States. It's crazy, ain't it? Crazy. Now listen to this. I'll show the video in a second. I can't show these, 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 these ammo stuff, okay? Check it out. Gang, known as Trandé Aragua, that has been carrying out crimes across the country, has made its way into at least 16 U.S. states. That's according to a leaked department. 16 states, including Illinois, including where I'm at, where they got these migrant shelters. This is criminal activity. Aiding and abetting a country, that's the question I asked in my other video. If you don't think our government is compromised, 
I suggest you think again. We got to pray targeted prayer. Lord, in the name of Jesus, bind these demons. Bind these demons in all these states in the name of Jesus. Bind these demons. And bind these legislators. And if you got to, Lord, you're the judge. But I think I speak for a lot of people here. And this is my prayer. You do what you got to do to protect good citizens in America. Lord Jesus, I'm saying it right now. That's my prayer. You do what you got to do, Lord. I go Old Testament on you right now. When Moses told Pharaoh, let my people go. And he's kept acting a fool. And they ran the people where they had no way out. And they had to run to the water. Moses lifted his arm up with the staff. And the water divided. And everybody got through. And when the Pharaoh came through with his army, they drowned. Read between the lines. Do what you got to do, God. Do what you got to do. They ain't trying to love you. They ain't trying to love us. They want to take us. But we're standing on your word. Do what you got to do, Jesus. Do what you got to do, Holy Spirit. Because they got us. They got us, they got us in a physical ambush. We get, look, people, I'm keeping it real. It's time for spiritual in the name of Jesus. I told y'all. I've been telling y'all for about four or five months. It's a Moses moment. We got to push Trump. Like Moses pushed Pharaoh. And we got to push this system. Look at this map. It's hemadrine. If it's 16 that they know of. Add three or four more. So you might as well just say. Close to 40% of America has something in there which is unlike America. That's a problem. And they've been trying to take our rights and you know those key amendments which would allow us to defend ourselves? You read between the lines. It's a setup all day. We need Jesus Christ. We need the Holy Spirit. And we need to let the same thing happen to bad people is the same thing need to happen to Pharaoh and his army. I ain't got no problem with it. I said I ain't got no problem with it. If you do wrong, then it's time for God to do what he got to do. That's how I feel about it. ...a Homeland Security memo that we obtained at the Post. Now this memo outlines how the gang, while growing in size in the United States through the waves of illegal migrants crossing the border, especially the large waves of Venezuelans, they've brought in numerous different crimes and they've also increased the hitting people upside the head up in their businesses stealing their stuff they ain't got no they ain't got no problem with it people they got no problem with it severity of those crimes now the newest states to see the expansion of trend aragua are wyoming washington dc a territory virginia washington dc where the capital is are you kidding me are you kidding me we got a guy overseas. I bet he gonna let that happen in his area. I bet China ain't gonna let that happen in, in, their, in, in their area where their president is at. She said, Washington, D.C., this is going on? We gotta be a real stupid country to allow this to happen. We better pray, because we're surrounded. And somebody's in our government allowing this to happen. It's gotta be stopped. Uh, as well as Montana. Now we spoke with the sheriff of Laramie County who says that while he doesn't believe that the gang has necessarily taken over Wyoming, he does have a suspected member of the gang in his jail that he says was just passing through the state. The gang is also increasing its theft and it's out of hand, people. operations. In it's out of hand. It's out of hand. I can't tell you how bad it's out of hand. Again, I thank you for watching my videos. I don't want to go long because I did one earlier. I just wanted to show you that there are politicians say that Hamas 
is here. And we have 16 states, including Illinois, where these gangs are here. And I already showed you from this video, there's a spirit, there's a spirit attached to this thing. You think there aren't some witches in the background that set all this stuff in place a long time ago? Oh, I go there. I go there because I understand how the spirit world works. Everything works in concert. You got witches, people who believe in witchcraft, and they want this country. Because it, it does something for them. They get more ranking. Trust me. These are devils. These are spirits making this thing happen. And they want their God to be glorified. Do you understand? They want their God, their God to be glorified. We can't, we can't afford to have one more day of this. We cannot afford it, people. Trust me. We can't afford it economically. We certainly can't afford it spiritually. And it puts us in danger where our laws will be compromised to the point where they will take our freedoms. Because it will get so bad, they won't know Mickey Mouse from Donald Duck. They won't know how to distinguish it. We pray for Trump. Again, he ain't all that in the bag of chips. We got him for a little while. And we got to do what we got to do. Christian, stand up. And all y'all folks out there beefing with each other, stay in America, stop. No more white against black. No more men against women. We need y'all to be alert. Because we got an enemy that snuck up, 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 up on us through these bad policies. Now we already get, we getting Trump up in here. The work ain't, the work ain't done. It ain't done. It's just beginning. But I'm telling you, it's a Moses moment. Look at the map. It's right in your face. And the map says what? The map says we're surrounded. The map says there was a plan. The map says we got to be alert and be smart and stop fighting each other. And we got to exercise our rights, hint, hint, and don't let them take nothing off the books that our founding fathers put on there. We got to make this system work. If there's ever a time, see, we don't want civil war because that's what, that's what the powers want to bring us to. We got to take our legislative measures and do what we got to do. I don't care if it's police, I don't care if it's whatever, agency, sheriffs, sheriffs deputize people and do what you got to do. You stand for the homeland and God will bless you, trust me. If nobody died when Moses opened up that water, we can get back too without a, without a scratch. Because the bottom line in, in, in my world, they go before we go. You feel me? That's what time it is. Nah. I, it, 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 look, 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 look. You run down the Caesar with his Caesar and God with his God. They're coming to take you out. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're coming to take us out, people. I don't care what nobody say. What percentage of it? I don't know. Did I say all of them was bad? No, I didn't. But you get a generation that over here, trust me, that seed. Is coming after your seed. You go look at your baby that was just born. Your baby not going to have a chance. They're in the same school with them and everything else. You don't know what they're grooming them babies to do in the future. They mess around and get in, get in public office. Ward commitment. Think about it. They mess around and run for office. Change the laws internally. We got to stop this madness. We got to think beyond the moment. Cut back on some of them sports teams. Whatever y'all doing on the weekend. And start getting involved with your government. Or just pray. But we got to do something. Think about this map. It didn't happen overnight. They made a plan a long time ago. Nothing runs this smooth like this. Nothing runs this orderly without a plan. They, they had to plan this thing years in advance. Trust me. And they deliberately let them sit out in the street. Sleep in, fire, sleep in uh, police departments and stuff in Chicago. That was to make them angry. Then they found a gave them some shelter. Now it's hell for everybody. And the cities are going bankrupt. And now your property taxes are going up. At some point, 
The call has to be answered. Right now, the call is for Trump, but we got to do it a certain way. Decent and in order and respectfully. Send them back. Decent and in order respectfully. One way. Don't come back. In fact, let the country heal from this. If, if I'm president, let it heal for about three to four, five years. What you think? We need healing because we are traumatized right about now. New York and Chicago is traumatized. The South Side of Chicago is it's traumatized through this. So we need to just stop immigration, period. Just, just stop it. Only those who are in the system, they can come over. Just look, I know it might sound extreme, but hey, we got it. We, maybe I'll make an exception if I was president, but it's got to be on hold for a little while and then go back to doing it the right way. But right now, we got a big problem. God bless you. You know, I have another site. It's called French Shots Gift. You know, I'm going through hell, but I'm here. I just lost 10 new I just lost 10 new subscribers on French Shot Blue, the one I'm on now. They fight me. But I'm I'm over a thousand here. Please keep subscribing here. Please keep subscribing. French Shots Gift. Go there and subscribe. I'll put it in the description. God bless you. God love you.